Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues ADC series in which we're playing as Henta del Sol. Right now we've done the villa is finished. After much work we've been able to finish the villa. Now let's see what everyone thinks of it. So we got that done which is fantastic but we should probably do technological tyrant. We found a few devices in the vault called Mes Metrons. According to the manuals, it seems like the Los North Americanos had some ideas about how to rule the countrymen. We could do likewise, but the pool, because you gotta have a pool. As El Generalissimo stepped the Margarita on his patio, he could help but reflect how good life has been. He had made friends, won much, lost some, won most of what he had lost back, gambled in New Vegas, tore the ruins in Mexico City, and seen what he was still convinced was a horse. And who knew what that future would hold? Some fancy ships? Ooh. Planes go parasailing. Ooh. El Generalissimo could use a brand new car. Oh, that's actually really cool. So technologically, we're pretty good on everything but power armor. Um, I'm a sucker. If we could get advanced stuff here. Sophisticated air tech. Um, advanced power systems and jet attack planes. Ships are all right. I mean, they're not bad. Air. We're not really using vehicles in this campaign. So it doesn't make any sense. I think, let's go parasailing. That sounds awesome. So we'll keep doing that. We'll keep going on. And uh, eventually, we're actually going to have to get involved. Ooh, complete the villa. Oh, you bet we did. Ooh, also, political actions, propaganda efforts. Sure. We don't need this one either open right now. Political actions. Ah, keep it open. We have 49 guns, which means we are selling stuff. We're actually making quite a few things, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Science points. And yeah, we need more stuff here. We could do more stuff here, too. We're building more labs. Helping, uh, resigning labs to help civil researches. And we're doing nuclear mastery, too. The nucleus of matter. Nuclear mastery, atomic theory. Uh, we'll get to that one. We only have 57 political power though right now. Uh, drastic measures, so we can eventually mesmerize the people. Not bad. So, Calamex in the water supply, like I saw earlier, which is actually pretty good. 20% more growth is awesome. Um, get more daily political power if you spend 25 caps, which is actually very, very strong. More weekly manpower, more daily army XP eventually. Better division recovery rate. So, but we got the villa finished, which is fantastic. Intellectual pursuits. Ooh, pioneer kits are nice. Robots. Ooh, ten mini nukes are very nice too. We're still waiting to see if we can get Maria Esquerda as a leader. Hopefully we'll get there. Hopefully. Um, what do we have here? More defense. Sure, why not? Let's actually make some decent tribal scout kits. We're making some anti-tank. And at the time of this recording, uh, there's an update between this episode and the last in which devs have updated it so that we can have uh, a slightly different uh, combo with four... Uh, demo teams and fire teams, but uh, we're gonna go with the bullets from Beltram. One of the benefits of selling ammo is that for some reason the cartels always need more of it. Is not commerce grand and cartel recruits. Instead of working for a vicious cartel, consider life uh, with El Generalismo's Ejercito. We even offer a pension! Host the Baja Exiles. The Baja Exiles were willing to bring some of their equipment and resources with them when they fled. Although we feel sad, we welcome them with open arms, of course. Military right buildup. Demonio Azul thinks that we are standing in Mexico's honor and made no secret of his plans to come north. Honestly, not preparing for a major war would be really dumb. Border fortifications. Oh, return to Baja. Ooh. Unlicensed luchadores are a threat to you and your family, but not once we finish with these fortifications and nuclear mastery atomic theory. A pre war world depended heavily on nuclear technology. They bet a lot of great things with it. Cars, robots, nuclear power stations, consumer goods, and the list goes on. But one thing they created ruined it all. For selling nuclear bombs, they're a violation of every possible code of ethics, and they're the worst thing mankind ever created. Some think of them as a tool to control others with fear, but the cruelest ones think of nuclear bombs as tools. Tools to conquer, kill, and destroy. And most of our scientists remember the fact that we live in a world created by nuclear bombs, but only part of them blame the nuclear technology or the nukes themselves. If we were to tell them to find a way to create nuclear bombs, they might hesitate, but not that much. Sound being our nuclear research? Ah, uh, we need to stop. The Great War was enough. Uh, we could probably sell it. Yeah, cartel recruits. Instead of working for the vicious cartel, consider life with El Generalissimo's Ejercito. Of course, we offered a pension like I read earlier. We can't keep a ghoul down. Despite the free fighters' best efforts, the leaders of the Sinaloa little cartel and Beltran Levy escaped. And now they're ready to head home with their help. We'll also make it easier to rule these new territories, of course. Welcome to Henta del Sol. A preemptive strike. Fortress del Sol. Nobody's going to interrupt our party. 
We can read I focus tree as well as the next person. It's pretty clear that the free fighters are gunning for General Viala. So let's beat him to the punch. Army contracts. Valentino Rosada could use some more guns given the troubles with the uh, Legion. Bad news for good news for us, bad news for the Legion. Mexicali trade port. Mexicali is our window up on the Pacific. And we can use it to promote ties with the Republic of the Rio Grande as well. The bull market. The greatest market for firearms is, without a doubt, Kaiser's Legion. I'm sure we can come to a mutual uh, arrangement, uh, amigo. I mean, amicus. Hachita trade routes. Hachita would be an excellent springboard for our Tucson trade. The Legion's ability to impose order along with their ready supply guns is a benefit to us both. And legionary tributes. The Legion may call this chippy, but we can't help but notice that in exchange for military equipment, they're showering us with a cherry in the form of silver denarius. And the California market. The new California Republic. Could use guns as well. Although they are a little far away, perhaps we could send outreach, outreach to them. The military master. El Generalissimo feels a second wind now that the villa is finally done. With a whole vault underneath his villa. Perhaps it's a military, a sign for military high command there as well. And the Junior General. Life is good, no? Have a drink. The Gulf Conference. Belter and Levy request a military pact. While we've been content to thus far rubber stamp the mutually beneficial agreements on the Gulf Coast or Gulf Conference. The latest on a last agenda needs careful thought. The cartels have been outspoken on the concerns of an attack by the Free Fighters and are petitioning for a mutual defensive pact against Luchador Aggression. Or we stand to gain little from assisting them. A victorious of Free Fighters might be a future threat to our own regime. Defend our fellow coast signatories in the event of a luchador attack. Sure, why not? They're trying to do the genial general, but popular populism. Well, those generalissimos promise of peace, land, and bread has won the hearts of many of the people. It's just that they can't have any of those things right now. Yeah. Um, honestly, we're not really ready for that one. We could return to Baja. It's better best efforts. Our clients of Baja have lost their homes to outsiders. While the new regime struggles to set up there, we could move in and take it for ourselves. Because why not? Um, I can't keep a gold down, which we read earlier. Fun in the sun. With the destruction of the Free Fighters, all recognize our control over Mexico's northwestern coast. El Generalissimo es Supremo. I'll kill for an invitation. Ooh, that's a lot nice. Although some have described the villa as a deadly, decadent court. That's just slander. Most people in the Nantes del Sol will kill for an invitation, or citizens fight harder for a chance to attend a party. Have you tried the water slide? And La Quinceañera. It's time to celebrate the villa with the quinceanera for his dear Hija. Everyone will be invited. And the robots don't need paychecks. We would economize on much of our budget if we replaced our conscript soldiers with robots. Intellectual pursuits. There's a lot of interesting stuff to read by the pool in these old books. North Coover goes bye-bye. The hidden vault. It appears that there are even more weapons hidden in the vault. These relics of the American oppression will be held in trust for Henta's people. Unless there's someone we don't like. Baja Arms. The good people of Baja have been crafting their own firearms for many years. We should send some men over to see how they make them. This will also provide an opportunity to advertise their own, clearly better ones to own. Or better ones than them. So that'd be nice. Trying to continue to build ourselves up, building up a lot of civvies here. Go to build some more civvies right there too. The Baja Purchase. Oh my god. Hmm. The Legion is overstretched and we don't really don't need or want Baja. In contrast, our acquisition will give us control over the Sea of Cortez. Soon to be the Sea of Viala. Rio's Roughnecks. The Republic of the Rio Grande's army is a thing or two to teach us why not to learn from our new customers. Liberalization. Inspired by the Republic of the Rio Grande's example, generally Simo Viala has decided to hold an election. How appropriate that all parties have nominated him. Except Frumentari. Kaisar has asked us about allowing an office of his Frumentari agents to operate out of Henta City. So they might gain intelligence on the nations of Mexico. He's even offered to let us know about many things they discover about our enemies. It's a win-win. Nice. Um, what else do we want here? So, yeah, why not? Standardized tools. Um, the resource efficiency gain. It's a little out of time. A little out of time. More resource efficiency gain. Why not? I'll come over here too. A lot of political power. The Ultima Purchase. We really need this more than Kaiser. They can always get a window in the Pacific in California after all and renegotiations. It seems that the NCR could use a bit of help right now that it's war. War never changes, but our prices definitely can. Guns and boat diplomacy. With an increased focus on Puerto Libertad since the villa was built, some of the military suggested we build more naval facilities there. What a great idea. A true general, El Generalissimo, has not just a title, it reflects prowess and heroism and inspires the rest of the army. Our amigos in the north. One of Aurelian of Phoenix's 
officers as come south to assess El Generalissimo as part of a visiting warrior's program. And perhaps you can learn a thing or two from us as well. If you get too close to a good tree, you'll find a nice spot for a siesta. Lucius of three rows becomes a unit leader. A military arms complex. We can use the manufacturing facilities within the vault to produce even more weapons. We're sure the vault's like would mine now that they're gone. Thinking metal, birth of a mine. Robots were always a hot topic, even when they weren't created yet. Pre-war people were always afraid that one day robots would rise up and destroy humanity. Smarter minds thought that robots were just a way to do things without using human hands. But the smartest thought of robots were signs of things to come, of a new steel age. Robots were always helping pre-war people, doing their chores, performing menial tasks, and protecting human lives. Pre-war governments and organizations created warbots with lasers, saws, and flamethrowers so that unfeeling steel could destroy vulnerable flesh. Robots became destroyers, killers, and murderers because humans thought of them as tools and efficient tools they were. Our scientists have been inspired by them to create a perfect machine AI, gathering much support from our scientific community. They've requested government's assistance in the research to build a perfect AI capable of improving itself. They already have some ideas about what to use it for, but leave it, but leave it to us to decide what its ultimate purpose is. Our military required robotic support. Our industry could use some help. Well, we're not going automated warfare, so our industry could use some help. And we are currently at war with the Free Fighters because we have taken the focus, preemptive strike, and decided, screw it, let's go in. And we actually did very well. We've already actually pushed over. Um, we're kind of waiting first, though. I want the love of the Beltron Levia to die first. Yay! Um, and then continue beating the crap out of them because I don't want to take them out. And that might actually set us up to fight the Vice Royalty very, very well. Uh, we might not win here, but we are just finished over negotiations. And, uh, True General, well, let's go with, uh, Render to Kaiser. This is pretty good. We've done so much for Kaiser, and surely won't mind if we learned some of his tricks for his own use. Yeah, military engineering is good. That's actually, that's very, very good. And the Legion. Very nice. So it's going to take us some time to break through his lines, but, you know, whatever. We can only get almost 150 caps, really 147 caps per time that we uh, get paid, which is pretty nice. Uh, we can close out of that one for now, but we can not eat that one either. This one's not bad. War measures, we can close out of that one. Partisans, we're trying to finish up our oh god, intelligence agency upgrades. All the way down there. Ah, and we actually moved to Tal already. Only 22 massive guns, because we do love massive guns. How do we get this one? Oh, we need to research new infantry equipment, so we can wait. Um, we need to be thinking metal too, huh? Okay. Why not? More resource efficiency gain is good. More output. Rapid prototyping is also very good. And anything else? Industry? We could. That's not bad. Don't really need to do it. Increase building speed. We need more than six available cities, which is why we never use it. Uh, lose stability. More weekly war support. I'm kind of okay with that. An immediate draft. We're good. Uh, more attack. Uh, actually, more attack would be pretty nice. Uh, span army training, not right now. Later on would be good though. I don't like drastic measures and this stuff. Recovery rate, 15%, it's not bad. Manpower, political power gain. Uh, all stuff is pretty good, but we don't really need them right now. Ooh, also, armor batch of mini nukes. We did get the mini nukes from the nuclear mastery, which is very cool. So we'll get there eventually. The Sochi of the Legion. We will propose a treaty of eternal peace to Kazar's Legion and also for the, the economic development and our capital. Let's say losses. 139 versus 900. That's actually pretty decent. Um, divisions wise, they're pretty good overall. Fire teams. Do we have any fire teams? We do have a few fire teams. Increasing our power is nice. But too bad ended. And. Ooh. Naval technology. Well, whatever. Armor Harding is very good too. 20 combo width. You need anti tank. You need recon and cams and all that stuff. Nice. <clears throat> Only 1.35 political power every day. I know it's not enough, but still. Good. More divisions. Imperio Mexicano. So right now we're 203 versus 1,000. How much manpower do they have left? Five to 6,000. They got plenty of manpower just like us. And they have a couple robots, probably from. Why do, why do they have some robots? That's interesting. Yeah. That'd be good to just take them on out. That's right. We're taking them all night out to a nice dinner. The Treaty of Eternal Peace. Kaiser has agreed to a proposal. Oh, we have agreed that we shall never war upon one another, and Mexico shall open its arms to the Legion. Let us elevate with a drink, no? An aggression pact. Very good. Now, liberalization, huh? I read this one earlier. So. 
We're gonna get that one, La Quinceanera, I read a true general too, as well as military arms complex. So, ooh, very nice. Oh, I guess we built up a lot of the radars, huh? Um, roads are looking okay. Looking decent so far. Look up around, we could go to what, uh, ooh, what's over here? Also, we did grab this guy for conventional warfare, because we'll go with that one next. Uh, less reliability, more soft stack. Ooh, more attack though. Everyone uses this, but I don't want to penalize us, so more speed, more organization, more talk. A talk, attack. You know, all that good stuff. Alright, so let's arm the mini nukes. Use a, or use a fat man. Better offense, better breakthrough. Because they want to do this, we'll happily oblige them, you know. Nice. Want to play attackers? We've actually done very, very well here. Holy crap. Um, don't really need more of a navy, really. I guess get one of these two. If you really run out of things, this is like the first time I've ever actually had, had to do this, too. Weird. Chris political power would be nice. We love you, Generalissimo Day. Generalissimo Day. I don't think I wrote this one yet for you guys, though. Today, all of uh, Del Sol celebrates Generalissimo Day. Uh, a day celebrating an invincible, unbeatable, and incalculably attractive leader. Our Generalissimo has done a lot for the people who haven't done these, le these years. Many people remember when our generalissimo single and barehandedly defended Puerto Libertad bravely against waves of monstrous con congregios. I have read this one. So if you want to read this, finish reading this one, please go right ahead. Long live him. Yes. My bad. We keep building more labs, too. Technological breakthrough. Land auction. Top settlements. Uh, actually, let's get political pop first. Her special day. The band quieted down. The attendees were having a good time on the balcony over the sea. And El Generalissimo smiled, my dearest daughter. This one will be this one this will one day be all yours. And I know you'll do more with it than I did. He sniffed a tear. And when I look at you, I see your mother, and I know she'll be proud of who you've become. That's why I wanted to give you something in her name. The two soldiers came out with a large box wrapped in Atsilani silks. Your mother designed this when you were a baby, but we didn't know how to build it, but now we do. Uh, Lucia walked to her father, her pink dress trailing behind her. She carefully unwrapped the box and found a Gauss rifle within. The hilt was carved with a picture of her mother holding her as a baby, surrounded by a heart. Lucio will always be with you in one way or another. I love you. Family makes it all worthwhile. So now let's take a look at local losses. 500 versus 1700. That's better. Um... Nice. And naval stuff. Sure. Come on, I mean, we can pierce each other, and we should have air superiority too. We don't have any Cassie yet, but we're working on it. And now we have a little bit of Cass. Nice. There you go. You know, get rid of these more raw materials. Resources, really. But this is going up pretty quickly, which is pretty nice. Thinking metal. Metal mine. Our scientists have made some breakthroughs on the AI project. They have been experimenting mostly on protectrons so that failed experiments would not create too much chaos. The latest versions of the accurate AI already include basic machine learning. But memory issues while trying to process all the information providing, provided are leading to regular crashes. The development team is split in two groups. One group is trying to fix memory limitations. Uh, the other one is improving the AI self-learning algorithms. Improving the RAM could lead to improvements in our military robots, but increasing the learning could open up the AI to helping in industrial complex, or, um, complex industrial processes. <clears throat> Once again, they request our decision which project to focus on. Robots are killing people. Let's make them better at it. Or, human hands are not enough. Maybe a more creative AI could help out. Yeah. I like that one. For glory, even more attack. Nice, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. There we go. Oh, there's not even a serious Okay. Oh, look at 89, nice. Just pop up those special forces. They're not doing great right now. But they're doing pretty decent. Slowly being defeated. And when you're done, Lanius is a failure. Goodbye, Lanius. I oh, can't even build in here yet. Oh, God. If you really run out of things to build, there you go. 
Those will build pretty quickly. Yeah, we're definitely moving faster now. Navoja? Very good. Actually, what am I doing? We've not used a cipher yet. There you go. Should give us even better results. So with that in mind, we can finally do this in the uh, second episode here. That could have been worse, but whatever. Could have been better, but whatever. Oh, come on. So we got all that stuff done. Uh, liberalization. We have another waterway we can fight across, which sucks. But whatever. You know, more caps. Okay. Gloria Rome. Hence, those so can no longer go it alone. Perhaps it's time to work with Rio and consider some alternatives to promote economic unity within Mexico. Join the Rio Pact. Join the Legion. Um. I'll be honest. Oh, Nova Legion. Well, they're trying to fight each other, huh? Um, I kind of don't mind. I just kind of don't want to do either one. I'll be honest. Stick it with five. Pretty nice. And we'll wait for all that stuff. Oh, we can't do this one now, huh? Well, that sucks. Let's come over here. General attack and defense is pretty good. I like that a lot. So we're gonna. Ooh. Puerto. Ah, everyone gets this one, though. Even special forces benefits from that one, too. So I can't be too upset at that one. One man, one vote. A generalissimo Viala is expected to win the sham election, but he may face a surprise. His dear comrade, Maria Izquierdo, has a dream, a hanta del sol, no generalissimo, where the people of this vote actually does matter. Once established, uh, once she has established stability, after an interim regime of indefinite duration, of course, it was the night before the election when the ballot box had been duly stuffed. El generalissimo had always had a taster check his drink, but he trusted Izquierdo, and Google is immune to many poisons. To your inauguration, President. The Presidente? Oh no. Look, look at that. Generalissimo Viala dies. You can more delay compliance too, I like that. Oh no, what could have happened? A daughter of Atslan. She made her way north after Tlaloc nuked the Atslani army years ago. Turned into a ghoul by the transformation. She was fascinated by the documents she found that spoke of a government of laws and not of men. Tales of the Republic of Mexico and inspiration from the Republic of the Rio Grande have given her some curiosity. Perhaps she can help forge the United States of Mexico once again. Oh, yes, please. Which means we don't have to go with the principal. A land ruled by the Legion will be no place for my daughter. And their views on tequila? Viva va Mexico. No, oh, that does not exist. Has, oh, ghoul and recruit all mutants. Or maybe we can bypass it. So we're done with that. Nice. I'm going to get 100 army XP to get to conventional warfare because I want to get that direction. Is this possible? Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. And over here. Grab that. Yes, please. Ah, we, whoa, man, we've already broken over the river. Look at that. Oh, whoops. Well, there you go. Very nice. So it was that easy. I knew it was, I thought it was a focus I did that. Hmm. Stability would be good. Cultural simulation too. Oh, so we have all of this stuff still. That's nice. A hundred caps for that. Hundred fifty-nine. Oh, oh. But the broken masks. Gloria Road. Oh, Dante has to be leader of it. Well, Madre del Sol. The words in spreading that something terrible has happened. Something that everyone would hope would never come to pass. Every working radio is tuned to the government station for updates. Oh no, what could have happened? Oh boy. What the heck? Why'd they go to war with us? Did they just finish a focus or something? Um. Well, that looks like not good. Um, I'm gonna double check things here real quick. And then uh, we'll finish a war with the Free Fighters and uh, hopefully not die, but we have a good casualty ratio. Probably 1.8. 1. 1. 3 to 1-ish. Roughly. Meet the new boss. Every radio in Henta del Sol is tuned in to the government broadcasting airing from Henta del City as the strong voice of Maria Izquierda cut through the static and spoke to the people of the leader of the nation. It was great sadness that I announced that our team leader, Generalissimo Viala, 
has passed away just before election. He was poisoned by two members of his inner circle, but do not worry. The corporates have already been apprehended and are awaiting execution in Henta City. As Viala's second in command, I am next in line to the seat of General Simo and accept this difficult task with a heavy heart. No one person could ever match a charm, charisma, and force out of Viala. It is for this reason that there will be some changes to the, our great nation. I will continue with this last action, the election, and be bringing more democratization to Henta. More news of this will come soon, but for now I ask all of you to keep Viala in your hearts as we move forward into the future. Glory to Henta and fun in the sun! Through the destruction of the Free Fighters, all recognize our control over Mexico's northwestern coast, El Generalismo Es Supremo. Um, and then... Uh, so about those cartels. With the destruction of the Free Fighters, the second thought occurs. Would it not be more profitable to annex the cartel's territory directly, rather than selling them guns? Why borrow from the bank when you can rob it? Plus, who wishes to raise their children in a land with drugs? No robots, no masters. Wait, who the heck was Zapata? Why is a robot trying to freeze the proletariat? What even are the proletariat? In any case, I'll say no to this nonsense. Costa Contrax. Baron Garcia is a man after all own heart. Let's grab a drink and discuss a trade agreement. Um, oh, look at that. Amant de Sierra del Golfo. Our military will start making patrols in the conquered territory to welcome our new citizens under the sun. And remind them of who protects them from now on, of course, they will be so grateful that they were for us now in our place in the sun. We're no longer the people of the sun. We, this is the coast of the sun. The hap, a land happy and prosperous under Supreme Leader. Care for a drink? Military control. As the highest ranking member of the military after Viala, it won't be hard for Maria to ensure the allegiance of her soldiers. Soldiers. A little bonus to their paychecks won't hurt their loyalty either. Civilian control. We can turn the mounting of Viala into a perfect vessel for ensuring the common folk don't rebel against our new leadership. Let's continue to remember this legacy while moving into the future and mourn Viala. As we remember Viala and the prosperity brought to Henta del Sol, we put our faith in the new Generalissimo. We'll stay strong even after Viala's death, as he would have wanted. Also, um, so these guys are, the two sons is literally doing their last focus, and it is to basically kill us off. So we have to fight the Legion now at this point, but I'll we'll probably do a lot of that off screen if possible. Um, so it's going to be kind of a pain in the tuchus. To do so, but it is what it is, and we'll see how long and how much we can actually hold them off. That being said, I think I'll end it there. Um, that's Adele Souls looking pretty good. If you enjoyed the video though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we'll see if we can hold off the Legion. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous rest of your day.